Sometimes you wake up and you don't really know what's good for the day. And it's like you want to do the show, but you don't know what to talk about necessarily. You turn on the news or you flip on Twitter and there's a dude eating shit. And it's all like, here, here you go, with a little bow on it. And uh, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. You guys are all, I don't think you'll mind me saying this, uh, dirt rich. <laughs> Dirt <laughs> sure. I think no. you can speak for all of us. I didn't that. know you could put a pool in a complex where you're renting an apartment, but is, you guys have all done it. Is dirt rich like middle class? It's not <laughs> filthy rich. Filthy rich oh, is stupid. Oh no, rich. I don't think yeah. it's even dirt you don't think, rich. Dirt no, rich is just no. having a regular amount of money. I thought it was just we have dirt. <laughs> we, we, got, we are dirt. We rich. got dirt. You we need are, dirt. In all fairness, I did start with dirt. <laughs> yeah, the Super Bowl was last night, which means two things. A football game was played, and a lot of money was spent on commercials. So I feel like it's a cool, hacky thing to do to... <laughs> I feel like the most acceptable, hacky thing to do would be to talk about the commercials. First of all, Pink sang the national anthem with the flu. That's badass. They gave Jordan iconic sneakers for the, his flu game. They're considered his flu game sneakers because he was swishing and dishing with the flu. Uh, Pink should get sneakers. Then there was, uh, there's gonna be a Jurassic World 2. You remember Jurassic World 1 with uh, Andy from Parks and Rec? But in this movie, it would appear as if they do something to tame and utilize Velociraptor. So came up with a couple different taglines for this movie. We're friends with the dinosaurs now. Uh, and that was it. That was the only one. Then there was a trailer for the movie Solo, the new Star Wars film, and then uh, Donald Glover is Lando, so I was the first person today to write hashtag childish Landino. And then I clicked on that and I found that so many other people had said that beforehand. And then Cloverfield 3 for the third Cloverfield. And then they said that it's not coming out in theaters. Uh -uh, you're in the theater because Netflix, because it's on Netflix. And it was on Netflix right uh, after the game. And then me and Steve Zaragoza did a dynamic banter episode that was like Cloverfield's episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a lot of questions flying around. That's okay. Me and Steve Zaragoza originally bonded over our love for the movie Cloverfield. So we made a podcast about it. That podcast was is fun. Then after 10 Cloverfield Lane came out last year, whatever it was, that kind of subsided because it wasn't uh, presumably going to be another movie for a while and then the Super Bowl happens and they say there is another movie that's happening right now uh, so we had to watch it and immediately do a podcast and the first seven eight minutes are incredibly funny the rest of it's very dorky but regardless of whether or not you like that movie or movies in general I suggest you check out the first seven or eight minutes of the newest dynamic banter podcast and then they set Philadelphia on fire. I, uh, it's not an uncommon thing when teams win big things for people to get drunk and have mob mentality and riot, but I'll never understand it. I mean, I, like, I, or I understand it, but I don't get it, or whichever combination. Like, isn't it that the team wins and everyone's in and we're like, we love each other, we love this city. Why is the next thing fires? Why is it, we love each other and we love this team and we love this city and then fires? I don't love anything enough to burn it. And then because of that mob mentality and because of being drunk and because of having thousands of people saying, do it, do it, the guy's eating shit. There's a video, I'm not gonna show you, cause it's my show, of a guy eating like police horse shit, just cause there's a million people around him telling him to do it. And I hope that he doesn't have dysentery. Never loved anything enough to burn it, break it, or eat shit off of it. And they won the Super Bowl, right? Weren't you, isn't that the most happy time? Don't you only do happy time things? Riding after winning the Super Bowl is like getting divorced because the sex is too good. It's too good. I'm outie. Then there was this viral video going around where a dog, somebody forced an egg into a dog's mouth and a golden retriever to prove how gentle their mouths were. I guess there's an old wives tale. That's probably, think it, that's probably an offensive old wives tale. There's no way the origin of that isn't somehow. <laughs> that a golden retriever's mouth is so gentle that it can hold that egg in without cracking it. So she, uh, he or she forces a raw egg in this Lee boy's mouth and uh, and it does it. He holds it for a minute in his mouth without cracking it. But here's the thing. What? Why are you putting food into a dog's mouth that it can't eat? Dogs are only hungry and tired. 
or running. Those are the three. Also, if your dog does crack the raw egg in its mouth and it eats that, your dog is gonna die. So what you did was essentially put a bomb in your dog's mouth and was weirded out that your dog was like shockingly calm about it. The only thing that's broken is that dog's spirit. <laughs> Cause it's like, what are these people that I love so much doing to me in my mouth? I thought we would never hurt each other. I don't know. I don't know. Who am I? You know? Anyway, this has been fun. What's up? Coming to you live from Planet Hollywood. We're here with Andre Agassi. This is the coolest day of my whole life. It's good to meet you, bro. How was Dayton Brook Shield? Yo, guys, what's up? It's your boy. It's your host, Mike Falzone. Here at Planet Hollywood, we're here with Billy Corgan. It's the best f***ing day of my life, you guys. Smashing pumpkins. Yo, guys, what's up? What's good? It's your host, Mike Falzone. I'm here at Planet Hollywood. We're here with Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. F***ing killing it. Best night of my life. Hey guys, what's up? It's me. It's your host, Mike Falzone, here at Planet Hollywood. We're here with Charles Bronson. It's the coolest dude in the f***ing world. It's the best night of my life. Everybody chill out. <laughs> your boy, Mike Falzone, here is your host at Planet Hollywood. We're here with British pop sensation Robin. It's so cool, dude. It's the best night of my life. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Mike Falzone. We're here hanging out at Planet Hollywood with Ryan Styles, comedy legend Ryan Styles. Whose line is it anyways? The best night of my life is back to me. It's back to your host. We're here at Planet Hollywood. Uh, just hang out with Maxwell, dude. And Cody is the best night of my fucking life, dude. Fucking Maxwell, check it out. Guys, what's up? It's fucking crazy in here. Smoke machine's going on. It's Planet Hollywood. Guys, what's up? I'm having such a good time here. Planet Hollywood, it's me, your host. It's Mike Belson. I'm here with two different giants, Steph Curry's. It's the best night of my fucking life, dude. I love three pointers. I love your work. What's up? What's up? It's your host. It's Mike Falzone. I'm hanging out at Planet Hollywood. I'm here with my girl Rose Burns. It's the coolest night of my life. Thank you so much for being here. Hey guys, what's up? It's the best night of my life. It's your host, Mike Falzone. I'm here at Planet Hollywood. Me and Mark Paul Gossler. What do you got coming out, Mark Paul Gossler? It's the best night of my life. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy. It's your host, Mike Falzone. I'm here at Planet Hollywood with J5. It's Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies. Good. I love your work, dude. It's the best night of my life. What's going on? It's your boy. It's Mike Falzone. I'm your host here at Planet Hollywood, hanging out with Seattle's Mariners legend, Jay Buhner. It's the best night of my life, dude. Big fan of your work. Guys, what's up? It's me, your host, Mike Falzone. I'm here live, 2013, Planet Hollywood. My boy, Jason Matsukis. It's the coolest night of my life, dude. I love you, dude. Love your work. Guys, what's up? It's me. It's your host, Mike Falzone. I'm uh, just hanging out here at the Planet Hollywood, 2013, with the live studio audience from the Drew Carey Show! Come on, Hey, welcome back to me and Alexa. It's a daytime talk show that I host with this small robot on Mike Falzone. Um, Alexa, how are you today? I'm great. I hope you are too. I am too, and thank you so much. Alexa, give me a fun fact. The backs of reindeer's eyes are golden in summer, but turn blue in winter to help them see in low light. Well, if they see in such low light, why did they run into my mom's car that time? Alexa, they took the rear view mirror right off. Sorry, I didn't find Mira right. Neither did the deer. Outro take one. Thanks so much for watching my outro take two. It's bright. It's really bright. God, I can't. A couple places where you can find Mike Falzone this month doing stand-up and other things. Find him doing Dynamic Banter Live on February 17th at the Open Space Theater. Tickets below. Mike Falzone Live at the Siren Theater in Portland on March 25th. Guess what? I'll be there. It's a couple days before my birthday. Dynamic Banter video this week starring The Valley Folk. You can also sponsor this channel for $5 a month. Mike in the Morning comes out every Tuesday and every Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, that was my outro for you guys. Uh, hi, Dad.